guys to a new timers episode of Defectorio Let's Play. Uh, yeah, so today it's actually a really, really, really special timelapse episode. A uh, bit of a first for me as well, because you can actually watch back uh, all the... Uh, me completely like recording this, because I did a live stream of that. Yes, yeah, super spontaneous, so I think I uh, was sure I want to make the live stream like 25 minutes before I started, and... Obviously, also only announced it 25 minutes before it started. Um, yeah, not quite optimal, obviously, but uh, the thing is with live streams for me, I don't live alone, and sometimes when I record stuff, you may have also already noticed that, it, that there might be like a cut here or there, because like someone just thinks it's now the uh, best time to walk into my room. Uh, yeah. And uh, that's why I usually only like to like uh, to to make live streams when I'm uh, currently alone, which isn't happening that often. Yeah. And I also just can't live stream everything, right? So that's also the other thing. And I think like a live stream here or there after like every like month or two isn't uh, too bad. Uh, yeah. So there's like. A playlist here on this Let's Play channel uh, of all live streams I already did, which is at this point two, well, uh, yeah, this one and one for Blueprint Tycoon. Exactly. Um, so yeah, you can watch the entire thing if you would like to, or you can just watch the time lapse here, or you can do both. Um, yeah, so essentially I recorded three time lapse episodes now. Um, then we will just continue on with a bunch of normal episodes from now on, probably until like episode 100 or whatever. There probably won't be like another timeless episode until then. So in this one right here, I mainly just fixed up everything. Yeah, like I finished the, the rail network. Uh, so now I think I already built the stacker. No, I did build the stacker in the timeless episode. Yeah, so I built the stacker threw down some like signals and stuff. I also had to expand our uh, defense a little bit. We got rid of quite a few aliens as well. Uh, yeah, I think in total I now spent like four hours or whatever just fighting aliens over like the roughly like six to seven hours I recorded the three episodes on. Yeah, it was a lot of alien fighting. I also died quite a few times. <laughs> uh, yeah. I could have been a lot faster with killing all these aliens if I wouldn't have died that often. Yeah, we just kind of did like some fixing up here and there, and in the end we also transported all the items back to the base that we didn't need anymore. Yeah, like that's the thing, like uh, combat in Zero 17, I think it's a little bit harder now actually with like bigger bases. I think with like smaller stuff it's easier. But with larger bases, it's definitely a little bit harder because the thing is that all the worms and spitters, they spit their like alien goo at you, and that stuff's uh, really sticky. So you get like slowed down, and you also take like damage from it. And when there are like a couple worms shooting at you, and you are essentially in their spit, then well, you you just don't get out as fast, and then you like caught and then like every, everything's around you and everything's just killing you and yeah that's kind of bad so yeah it got a little bit harder definitely uh yeah so today i also like to talk about a topic obviously just as as always basically uh, yeah um and that topic is a topic that i as a german uh, am quite proud of you know i mean there's not a lot of things that we in Germany can be proud of. I mean, we can be proud, but it's, uh, yeah, always kind of like a, a weird thing to say, like, I'm proud to be a German because, uh, yeah, well, things happened in the past, you know, but we can definitely say that we can be proud of our uh, highway system, our uh, infamous Autobahn. And I'd like to just talk a little bit about that because I know that most of the viewers, at least on the main channel, I'm not quite sure how it's here on that channel, uh, 
but most of the viewers aren't from Germany. And so, yeah, I'd like to talk a little bit about that and maybe clear some uh, confusion, at least. Um, yeah, so the thing that I notice when uh, foreigners or like, especially like US people from the US, when they talk about the Autobahn, it's just like, I have the feeling that they think it's like this crazy uh, thing where everyone's like going uh, above 200 or 300 kilometers an hour and everything's just uh, fast and crazy. Um, but sadly, this isn't the fact, you know, like, uh, or luckily, basically, because that would be pretty dangerous, you know. So yeah, basically, it's right, the Autobahn has no speed limit, per se. Um, so there are a, a lot of places on the Autobahn that have a speed limit, though, like 120 or 100 kilometers an hour or something around that range. I would even think that most of the Autobahn is uh, limited in speed. But I'm, yeah, I'm not sure about the uh, exact numbers, but I would guess like most of it is actually limited. Um, yeah, which makes sense because like when you have only two lanes in one direction, which is uh, quite common actually for many places, then uh, going like 200 or 300 can definitely be pretty dangerous. Uh, or at least you could think that, you know? Um, because, well, there's actually also, there are like a lot of critics uh, also in Germany that uh, would say we should have a speed limit. Uh, like a general speed limit that's like everywhere. And yeah, I mean, we already have kind of a, I don't know what like the uh, perfect translation would be, but like a recommended recommended speed. Richtgeschwindigkeit uh, is what uh, it's called here. Uh, and that's 130 kilometers an hour. So basically you should only uh, drive that fast. If you drive faster than that, uh, then some stuff happens. Like if you get involved in an accident mainly, uh, chances are your insurance isn't going to cover that. And also you kind of have to also uh, sort to say like you have uh, a partial fault I think uh, for the accident happening if you drive over that so yeah you should not do that usually I guess I mean pretty much everything everyone including myself are driving faster but like it's not like if you go with uh, 350 kilometers down the autobahn that you are still like 100% insured if something bad happens like that's not the fact I mean, if you crash at 350 kilometers an hour, then you probably have other uh, problems than if uh, everything's getting paid for by your insurance or not. Uh, but that's a different topic. So yeah, there's like uh, the more or less constant talk about a uh, speed limit in Germany and uh, it's like getting brought up uh, from time to time. Um, and uh, yeah, so there are people on obviously both sides here. Most of the people in Germany are against the speed limit though, uh, including myself. And I think in general having no speed limit is always a good thing. And so there are also some reasons for that obviously. So first, you're faster. <laughs> so that's kind of the whole like uh, thing with, uh, with the Autobahn, you know, like being faster, like uh, being faster get it like from point A to point B. I mean, Germany isn't like a super huge country. Like you can, ah, uh, yeah, you could probably get like uh, from every point in Germany to every other point in Germany within a day of travel. I mean, if you want to go to go like from the, the south all up to the north, then yeah, like that's a thousand kilometers, I think. So yeah, that would take some time. You should probably do that in like two days, but you could definitely get from every point in Germany to every other point in Germany within a day by car. And especially looking at like other countries like the US, for example, I think there is a speed limit in kilometers an hour or something around like 110 or 112 kilometers an hour, I think. Yeah, with like such a big country with like so many big stretches of nothing, 
I just don't get it, you know, like, you even have, like, uh, typically more lanes there, even, I think, I mean, I've never been to the US yet, but, uh, I don't know, especially in such a country, I think it doesn't make sense to have a speed limit, because that really, like, uh, slows you down in travel, I mean, uh, yeah, I mean, Germany is, like, also a pretty car-focused country, so... I mean, yeah, we built a pretty high quality, nice cars, you know, also cars that can go fairly fast. So for that reason, it would be also kind of stupid to have a speed limit, because why would you buy a car that can go like 250, 300 kilometers an hour if you can never drive it on like the normal road, I guess. Yeah, um, I mean, sure, there are also some like reasons why you should have a speed limit i mean sure it's like better for the environment and everything because you need like less gas because the higher your the faster you're driving the more gas per kilometer you essentially need i think it's like also probably a little bit more dangerous and stuff and accidents might happen a little bit more but I think like uh, spots where there were accidents, uh, they are pretty much uh, with a speed limit now. So yeah, like it's like the thing is speed doesn't kill you, right? Like you're driving like 250 kilometers down the autobahn. It doesn't make you make it like dangerous or anything. It's only dangerous if A, your car isn't really made to do that. If or B, if you're... Uh, if, like the road conditions or like the weather isn't really uh, allowing for it like uh, rain for example and uh, see it's like mostly accidents happen because of slower drivers in that case right so it's like the, the speed difference that's dangerous there um yeah and you should definitely like i mean if you're not stupid then i guess you also shouldn't like uh make an accident so yeah it mostly comes down to stupid stupidity and carelessness and i mean that's also so, something that can happen when you're driving 120 or whatever you know or 130 as a speed limit i think in like most countries in europe at least is i mean when you're like driving that speed there is still a possibility that like someone who's driving 80 is like pulling in front of you and you react too late uh yeah and i mean it's just kind of weird to me honestly like uh, that germany is the only country as far as i know that has like no speed limit because it just it just feels like something that's really natural here like uh when i'm driving on the autobahn then i would also like naturally do like 160 and 180 which is like fine but not stupid you know and, and that just feels like the uh like no because then when you're like driving 120 or something like it just feels like you're slow and you're not uh getting any kilometers down uh i guess in a, in a recent video i also talked about uh how i had an almost an almost an accident actually on the autobahn but that wasn't uh, doing 160, no, that was like driving 80, so uh, yeah. Uh, I guess that's uh, sometimes even more dangerous, you know, because when you're like driving faster, then you are also more, then you're paying also more attention, I think, because then you are like, oh yeah, I'm driving now uh, pretty fast, so I should probably look out for everything else, but like with 80 kilometers, like what can happen potentially, right? Like, if you know what I mean. So, uh, yeah, I guess uh, just to uh, summarize, it's not as stupid here as you might think, because, like, sure, sometimes there's, like, someone shooting by you or whatever, but uh, where it's dangerous to do uh, high speeds, there is probably a speed limit anyway. So, yeah, it's not like everything is free for all everywhere. And, uh, yeah, I guess if you're driving that fast, then you're also maybe better at it. I don't know. Nah, that doesn't make a lot of sense. 
you could also just get in a car and just give her some gas and then she's fast and then it's a uh, lose control and everything but hey um yeah so it's just kind of great to have it it's nice to have and i yeah i would think that living in a country that doesn't have something uh, like that so basically every other country i would probably miss it honestly well the only actual uh thing or like the, the the one reason the speed limit kind of sucks in germany is um electric vehicles you know because when you're like uh driving in a gas powered car then you can just then it doesn't like matter if like your range goes down from like uh, 600 kilometers to like 500 or from something like that or 400 i don't know uh, because you can like fuel up in like five minutes, but if you have like a uh, electric car, which has usually a range that's a little bit more limited, and where you can just like fill it up in like five minutes, then like a speed limit is definitely a good thing. I mean, sure, you can just like drive like 120 kilometers an hour all the time, but I mean, uh, when you drive like that and like everyone's shooting past you, then that's not. Uh, very fun, I guess. Uh, yeah, I hope my, my random thoughts you made a little bit of sense at least. And I wasn't too, all too much all over the place. Maybe I should just uh, also prepare for some of the topics a little bit better. I don't know. For some of them it might make a bit of sense, but yeah. Uh, if you have some more topics uh, you th should think I should cover, or you think I should cover, yeah. Then you can always write them in the comments down below. And with that, just thanks for watching. See you on the next one. Until then, have a great time. See you then. Bye bye.